Healing in this life is not guaranteed, but it is a guarantee that you will be healed. But what I want to say is what Jesus did on the cross, what Jesus did through his beating, what he did through the ridicule he went through, wasn't just for our eternal salvation. It's for this life, our living hope. There is a living hope, and we need to know that, because if there isn't a living hope, then there's no demonstration of the power of the gospel that's going to save anybody. And I'm walking with Jesus today because he's demonstrated his power, and I see it. And the quotation that Matthew gives is from Isaiah 53, 4-5, which is, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, and yet we esteem him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, and he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. This is another thing. I want you to know that nobody in this room or on this planet heals people. Yeah? You're not doing anything. If you're the one healing them, then we don't need Jesus, we need you. And I don't need you, I need Jesus. It's Jesus, the name of Jesus, and the power of the Holy Spirit. We are vessels, we are hands, lay hands. But it ain't your, you that's doing it. You know when people say, oh, they healed me. They didn't heal you. Jesus healed you, they were obedient. Praise God that they were obedient. But praise God that he healed you, not them. Today is a significant day because it's the day that Jesus won the victory over our sin and afflictions, over our grief and our sickness. This is a really big day. I don't know why it's called Good Friday. I'm sure there's some reason for it. But actually, I believe that we can call it Good Friday for a good reason. On the cross, he, did, he bore our sin, our shame, our grief, our pain, everything. Today is a good day from our point of view. Sunday's the day when Jesus won victory over death. Sunday's the day when Jesus became, you know, God. When Jesus was like, I am the only way. I am the God that's living today. If Jesus hadn't rose from the dead, he would just be a statue on a mantelpiece like all the other false gods. But Jesus conquered death. And that is what secures our salvation. Yeah? We don't pay the price of death because Jesus conquered death. That's what Sunday represents. That day, the day when the Passover lamb was sacrificed on the cross was the day that he bore all your pain, all your shame, all your grief, all your sin, all your mess. Not just what you've done, but what you're going to do. Today is a good day. Jesus was not a Hollywood actor. He did not stand out of the crowd because of his looks. He stood out because of what he did. You might not be much to look at. <laughs> I'm not looking at anyone. I'm making eye contact. But you will not be defined by what you look like to others. You'll be defined by what you did. They didn't follow him because of his Hollywood status. They didn't follow him because he had many followers on Instagram. People followed him. People want to listen to him. People were taught by him. People were healed by him. People were transformed by him because of what he did. He demonstrated the power of God. That is why it's our living hope. And we need to get into this church. We need to understand that today is a huge day in our history. It's a symbol, you know, it's a symbolic day. But this is a day that we get to live every day. The day that Jesus died on the cross so that we can be set free from all that we go through. Everything. I'm going to show you this. When we read Isaiah 53, it is not just about our sin and it's not just about our eternity. You need to know what Jesus carried on the cross. He was despised and rejected by men. A man of sorrows acquainted with grief. Jesus walked this earth grieving over his creation. He came to save it and yet had to grieve through it. He was a man of sorrows. He came to fulfill a mission for a people who despised and rejected him. Can you imagine it? I would have quit on day one. He had to walk through this earth 33 years looking at the creation and knowing that they were going to put him on the cross. Knowing that they were going to kill him. Knowing that they despised him and yet he was there to save them. Surely, which means truly, he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Grief sucks. I've been there. I am there at times. It doesn't really ever really go away. 
but I want you to know that Jesus has borne your grief. On that cross, it wasn't just your sin and your shame. It was all the pain. He was carrying your pain. When you were abused, he was carrying that on the cross. When you suffered grief, when you suffered loss of someone dear to you, he was carrying that on the cross so that you don't have to carry any more than you can bear. Do you know that? Read Isaiah 53 and be amazed by just what Jesus did and just what this day signifies. He's our living hope. We can pour our grief and our pain and our shame and the abuse that we've gone through and we can give it to Jesus because he's already carried it for us. And he will take us through those processes to be healed, to be restored. What a day today is. How incredible is Jesus? You know, we are really happy to give our sin to Jesus because we think that's the thing that stops us from having our eternal uh, future. But you can give Jesus everything. And you can give him everything because he's already carried it. On that cross, he carried you in your entirety. And not just you, everyone. Every pain, every situation, every rejection, he carried that. That's why he's a God that can sympathize with his creation. This is amazing, get this, so that we could have peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding, he took a severe punishment. You know that peace that you have in this life, the living hope? You know that peace that you get even though there's a storm around you? That was what Jesus was beaten for so that you can have peace in this life. Not just in the next, but in this life. How incredible is our God? How incredible is Jesus? Isaiah 53 is for today, right now, as well as for our eternity. It pleased the Lord to bruise him so that you can be set free. You think you're not loved? <laughs> that you're not loved you can't get greater love than this that the father not only allowed the son to be destroyed beaten spat upon ridiculed and nailed to the cross not only did he do that but he actually was pleased because he knew what it was going to fulfill which was the reconciliation of a sinful perverted generation that's me and you and it was going to reconcile us to him how I can't even fathom that in my head that's how much God loves you but also it's how much God wants to have fellowship with you it wasn't just to save you it was so you could have a relationship with him how incredible is our God Jesus carried everything he didn't just carry your sin he carried everything think about just your life what Jesus has had to carry in your life and I don't mean like, like just this nice life that you've had. I mean when you've gone through pain, when you've been stricken, when you've been hurt, when you've been damaged, when, you've, when you have felt that there was no way out, <laughs> Jesus bore that on the cross. How incredible. He knew the grief that you would go through. He bore that on the cross 2,000 years ago. He knew what you would go through and he's already carried it for you so that you don't have to carry it. That is our God. Just give it over. Hand it to him. I'm not making light of grief or sickness. All I'm saying is Jesus has already taken it. It's already been carried. If you get it in this life, praise God. But you will definitely get it. It's coming. It will be there. There will be no more sorrow. It's coming, but it can happen right here, right now, in this life. He is our living hope. Wow.
body broken, blood shed for everything. Everything. Wow. I don't know what you're going through, but it's taken care of, you know? I don't know what you're facing in this life, but it's taken care of. When you take that bread and when you take that wine, you can know that God has already got you. He's Jesus has already carried whatever you're feeling. Wow. That means he can sympathize with you through it. He's not saying, he's not rushing you through it. Come on, just get out of it. Stop being, don't stop being so sad. He said, I'll carry it with you. I'm with you. I've already carried it. I'm walking with you through this. I know how you're feeling. He sympathizes with us. But we don't need to carry any more than we need to. Give him the rest. Hand it over. Today symbolizes the day Jesus suffered for our suffering. That's what today is. Sunday's going to be one where we understand that he conquered death. He showed that he wasn't just um, a flash in the pan, holy guy that came to earth and said a, had big talk but didn't fulfill it. He showed that he was God. And that's what we're going to celebrate on Sunday. That he conquered death when no other God could conquer death. There are so many religions that follow dead gods. They actually have graves that they can visit. But when I've heard that people have gone to the grave that Jesus was buried in, there's nothing in it. There's nothing in that grave. The wages of our sin was death. And that's what we're going to get to celebrate on Sunday. Is I'm not paying my wage anymore. Because Jesus conquered death. But today, today signifies the day that Jesus suffered for our suffering. This is a big day. He suffered for our suffering. I thank God that we are never alone. I thank God that through the hardest of times, the rejection of others, the abuse of others, that you were never alone and you never had a God that couldn't sympathize with what you were facing because he'd already carried it for you. Thank you, Jesus.